right, Elizabeth, I can explain. Don't okay, lie to me. No, I'm not. Jason stood right here and he told me not to trust you, but instead I defended you. And this whole time you knew Jerry's plan? No, I knew nothing about this. You knew something. Elizabeth, I can explain. I've okay. showered, I've done the dishes, I've no. made tea. I... No, which I drank too. Listen to me, Elizabeth. No. Think about it. If I knew the water was tainted, why would I have, why would I have gone near it? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe because you have the antibiotic or whatever Jerry's calling it. I, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, I'm in the same predicament as you. I swear. I. I don't believe you. Because Jason told you not to. What? No, just Patrick warned me about Jason and your feelings for Are him. Are you serious? Oh, I what? I should have listened to Patrick. You know, he's a good man and a good friend, and he deserves better from me. What does that mean? Have you done something with Patrick? Don't worry. Okay, Robin Scorpio Drake was transferred to the facility in Switzerland. No. But I haven't been able to give him the only thing he wants. His wife. Okay, this, th this makes total sense now. Jerry is basically holding the entire town for ransom. Either we pay him for the antiserum, or we all die of the pathogen. The way, the way that broadcast cut out, he obviously wasn't finished. Well, maybe the cops are down there. Maybe they got a sorry ass in handcuffs. I don't think that was the wisest choice. What are you talking about? What he did, poisoning the water supply, is basically insanity. Yeah, no doubt. Federal law applies. We don't bargain with Jerry, so we certainly don't pay him off. So we can't buy the cure. I just, I, I think they should have waited and tried to pretend to negotiate with Jerry and hopefully get him to disclose where he's keeping the antiserum. But you, you saw the broadcast. Does that look like a guy that's gonna leave anything up to chance? He is not gonna give us the cure until, unless, he gets paid off. Which, according to federal law, ain't gonna happen. Okay. Okay, give me your phone. Give me your phone. Look, I think if you want to call Dante, he's probably fairly well, busy. Someone has got to contact Jax. I don't have a number for him anymore, but I'm sure Carly Jax is here he's doing... in Port Charles. Are you sure? Yeah, I saw him yesterday with Jocelyn and Carly. He probably came when Carly called him about Jocelyn okay. being in the hospital. Okay, this situation just got a whole lot more manageable. How? I thought you said Jax has been known to protect Jerry. Not from something like this. Jax would never condone what Jerry's doing here. And he's the only one that's ever been able to reason with his brother. The authorities will decide when and if you can leave. Uh, just a minute, just a minute. What exactly is the offense? Mr. Vane cost this institution valuable time and resources. She was searching for her daughter. I understand, but that doesn't give no, her permission to do No, I don't think do you do understand. Do you have kids, Dr. Ulbricht? No. Well, they tell me that any parent worth his or her salt will do anything, and I mean anything, to keep their children safe. I know you're scared, honey, but uh, you come home and we'll figure it out, okay? No, you are not gonna die. I'm not gonna let that happen. I promise, I love you. I'll see you in a minute. Christina, where are you? Can you call me as soon as you get this, please? It's urgent. Is it still going straight to voicemail? Yeah, I'm sure she'll be in touch soon. How's Molly? She's terrified. She was with TJ when she heard the announcement, so Sean's bringing them both over here, and I'm sure she'll be much more comfortable in her living room waiting to find out if Jerry poisoned her. You did great. You're gonna take care of us. I know you are. How am I gonna do that? After everything Jerry's done. I take full responsibility for my actions, Doctor. Mr. Spencer, you had nothing to do with it. Oh, wasn't I was involved. a full participant, and I'd do it again. So if looking for your kid is punishable by law, lock her up. Lock me up. Hell, lock every parent on the planet up. I, I don't want to hear excuses. Just run the trace right now and find my brother. I don't think we have to worry about Joss. I, I really think that Jerry was telling the truth about her. Looks like you're gonna get sole custody after all, huh? Hey, listen to me. I'm not gonna let you die, okay? I'm not gonna let my brother take you away from my little girl. All right? Yeah, yeah. Yes, I'm here. What have you got? You better be right. What? 
Stay here with Jocelyn, okay? Don't let her get scared. What are you gonna do? Whatever it takes to keep you alive. Why would Jerry Jacks poison poor Charles? What good would it do him? He has to be bluffing. Well, the guy sounds pretty lethal from what you told me. He did let your brother die. He did, you're right. Oh my God, my father, Monica, you. Joseph, we're all gonna die. Well, what about me and my crew? You know, if we're gonna be handling that stuff, it could get dangerous. We're gonna need that vaccine. I thought I told you, I have a limited supply and it's being used by other parties as well. Well, then you're gonna have to find someone else for this job. I'm not going anywhere near that stuff without guaranteed protection. Relax, Joe. I've got you covered, okay? A single dose at the first sign of symptoms, mix it with water and you'll be fine. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to feel. Joseph, how do you feel? I feel sorry. Tracy, I am so sorry. How do you find me? I mean, aren't you concerned about your friends and families? Because the next 48 hours won't be pleasant for anyone. Including you. <laughs> no, those theatrics are quite entertaining, I must say. And as much as you would both like to kill me, you can't. Because I'm the only one who knows the location of the antibiotic serum. If I die, so does everyone in Port Charles. You go. Take him. Uh, uh, you weren't properly introduced, by the way. What's your name? McBain. Pleased to meet you. You're Roger. under arrest. Put me through Detective Falconeri, please. So, uh, how does it feel to work in tandem with law enforcement? Just means I've got less time to get you to talk. Oh. 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 Wow. <laughs> Dr. Ulbrich, your clinic relies on discretion. Your patients require privacy, and their families pay big bucks to make sure that you keep secret the odd aberration that dangles from their family tree. Isn't that correct? I fail to see your point. My point is that if you try to arrest Miss Devane for trying to find her child, there'll be a rain of publicity falling down on you that you will be very, very sorry for. What you really want is her to go away and not darken your door again, right? And she ransacked our records. She violated our patient's privacy. Yeah, but he's right. I think it's to our mutual benefit if I just leave quietly, don't you? Safe journey. Thank you well, yeah, Doctor. Yeah, don't push it. That was a very close call. If you hadn't removed Scorpio Drake when you did, her mother would surely have discovered her. I'm sorry. It must have been difficult for you seeing Mr. Vin struggle like that. I know how much you care for her. I hope soon you get what you so desperately want. I finally meet a man who's intelligent and attractive, not my ex-husband, and we're gonna die. It won't come to that. Really? What makes you so sure? Because Jerry Jacks says there's an antidote that's available for a price? That's right. How are you gonna get your hands on it? I'll figure something out. I'd like to believe you. Look, I should go. My father's heart is no better than my brother's, and I, I need to be with him. Hey. It's gonna be okay. I'll make sure of it. It's kind of weird, isn't it? <sighs> you know, everything's gonna be okay, baby. Everything, because your daddy's gonna fix everything. And he's gonna take care of us just like he always does. Yeah. No, let me do that. No, 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 no. I've got it, Mom. You should be resting. 
Good, I'll take a nap while the world is ending. It's not Armageddon. <sighs> How are you staying so calm? Because I have to. No, you don't. You can choose to freak out like I am. Okay, well then get it out of your system before Molly gets home, will you? Twisted bastard, you say you care about me? Why didn't you protect my children? Mom, you need to calm down. I don't want to survive if I'm going to lose the people that I love. It's always been about Jason for you, hasn't it? Are you really doing this right now? What, speaking the truth? Uh, one visit from him and you have me committing acts of terrorism. Okay, okay, you just need to calm down. I, I wasn't holding you responsible. I just asked what you knew. And I, I told you nothing. Oh, so this could be a sick joke, or we could be dying right now, and you know nothing? I don't. I don't know anything. Oh, Elizabeth, <laughs> no, please, 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 just listen to me, okay? Hey, let her go! Hey, let her go. I'm gonna go see Jerry because she's gonna be away. No, no, no. You stop right now. What do you want me to do? You want me to just sit around and wait for my daughters to get sick? You saw John tear out of here. He must have a lead, and Jason's working on it too, Mom. And that reassures you? They'll figure out what to do. They have to. Wow. That woke me up. Now you're gonna tell me where that cure is. Order! Uh, well, pace yourself. Okay, you haven't gotten any brighter. It's an antibiotic serum. Or a counteragent, as you call it. Hey, buddy, you ain't looking too good. You ever wanted solid food again? You better start cooperating. Do you honestly think you can get me to talk? No. But I can. the next General Hospital. John McBain and Jason are holding Jerry Jackson gunpoint. If we kill him, we're kind of screwed. The charges may have been dropped, but it looks like you're getting a death sentence anyway. I think Trey is going to try and marry my sister. Thank God that you're... Not John. That's who you think of. 